Well, good evening, fight fans. Just finished watching Ryan Garcia stop Javier Fortuna in the sixth round. Like a lot of you, I had Ryan Garcia in this fight. Now, I actually had Garcia by decision. I thought that Fortuna would use his veteran skills and make it to the end of the fight, but he was knocked down three times and the fight was stopped in the six rounds. Let's uh, start with the, the pros and the cons. I'm going to start with Ryan first. The pros for Ryan would be, I like the fact that he was fighting a shorter man and he used his height. He was not dipping down. He was not giving any leverage. He kept his height. I love the quick left hooks that he was throwing upstairs. And I definitely love the left hooks to the body. And I like the fact that He's fighting a soft paw and he was trying to find the range to throw his straight right hand. It's been said that the the best punch to hit a soft paw with is the straight right hand. And Ryan Garcia was definitely trying to land that. And I also like the fact that Ryan Garcia was doing a great job, I thought, of cutting the ring off. The cons for Ryan Garcia would be nothing. I didn't see anything that I can criticize him on and say that he did wrong in this fight. Let's move on to Javier Fortuna. The pros would be kind of what I was expecting coming from his softball stance. He was trying to throw what I call a Luke Campbell punch. He was trying to faint low and then loop the left hand around Ryan Garcia's right hand to put him down uh, the same way that Campbell did. Now, he did land that shot once, but I couldn't really tell if the shot was actually clean or not. But I did know that he tried to land it. He did a pretty decent job of trying to keep his, his guard up in the first uh, those first few rounds until the fourth round came when he caught that body shot. The cons would be that that was all he had. I think that he was trying to throw, throw and land that looping left hand on Ryan Garcia. And to be honest, I don't think Fortuna had anything else other than his veteran experience. Let's talk about the fight a little bit. It seemed like it was going to be somewhat of a chess match as the uh, fight, those first few rounds went. Javier Fortuna was keeping his guard up. He was actually blocking some of those straight right hands that Garcia was throwing. And I thought that basically each fighter was trying to figure the other one out. But by the fourth round, Ryan Garcia had his feints down. He caught Fortuna with that left shot to the body that put him down, just like he put down Campbell. Fortuna showed some heart. He got up. And he had his hands down at his side and kind of danced around the rest of the round. And I have no issue with that because basically he was just trying to buy some time because he was hurt from that body shot. The fifth round comes around. This time it was a left hook to the head that I think Fortuna didn't see coming because it looked like when Garcia landed a left hand that Fortuna was trying to throw that straight, that throw that straight left. I just think he didn't see it coming. He was hurt. He went down, but give him credit again. He got up, and then we get to the sixth round. Garcia catches him with another left hook to the head. He goes down, and when he spit the mouthpiece out this time, as he did uh, the first time, I knew the ref wasn't going to let it continue. The fight was over. So now let's move to on to what goes here. I just finished watching the interview, and Ryan Garcia flat out said Tank Davis. He said he's going to fight at super lightweight, and he's already calling out Tank Davis to come up to super lightweight, and so we can get that fight. I would love to see that fight because I think it's time for both of them to step up. And I like the fact that he said that he's going to, you know, keep all the negotiations recorded. So there is no, well, you know, we offered Garcia to fight and he turned it down. He wants to get it out there. Sounds like he really wants that fight. And I think that De La Hoya will do what he can do to try to get that fight made. That's something we need in boxing. You know, we need boxing to be like other sports. We need the best to fight the best, and we don't need nonsense about promotions and who's fighting where to get in the way. We need to just get these fights out. So, fight fans, that was pretty much it. I thought it was a pretty good performance by young Ryan Garcia. What did you think? Did you pick Garcia? Did you pick him by stoppage? Did you pick him by decision like I did? And what do you want to see him do next? He said flat out he wants Tank Davis next. Is that what you want to see or do you maybe want to see something else? Do you have any criticism of what you saw in the fight? Other than that, fight fans, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. Other than that, that's all I got. I'll let y'all later.